Bye. This is my uh, coach, Miguel. Hi. So give us a little background on your uh, expertise. Oh, so um, I'm a CrossFit level three coach. Um, I'm a jiu-jitsu black belt. Um, I enjoy fitness and like moving my body. That's All right, so uh, today was Olympic lifting. What did we do? We did snatches today. So we focused on our power position at, hang, at the hang, uh, at above the knees. And we made sure to hold on to that power position as we got to the full power, which came from the floor. So what role does ego play in Olympic lifting? That was a really good question. Um, one of my favorite writers, uh, coaches, Tim Grover, talks about for you to be able to perform at your best, you do sadly need to dip into the darkness, the ego that you have. The problem is that the ego is strong. If you dip into it and it wins, you're not gonna get as far as you think. But if you dip into it and you're in charge, you're gonna get a lot further than you think you can. So how did I do today? You did great. <laughs> you can laugh about it if you want, but your ego came in in a moment and you were like, I'm just gonna lift it. And I came over and was like, hey, we said we were going low. and I made fun of you for it a little bit on purpose to remind you that you were in charge of your ego and each time I reminded him that he was in charge he performed better understood the movement more and was able to calibrate constantly and that's an easy I think a, a CC constant calibration is something you'll have to do and that's Olympic lifting but if I'm too emotional ego driven or anything with like that I can't calibrate constantly awesome. and then I'll fall love you buddy thanks man All love right. you too Tom All right. thank you